it's easier for dementia residents and dementia units to cope with the challenges of living in a dementia unit when they are well, when they're sleeping well, when they're eating well, when they're free from pain and infections, and when they're getting outdoor exercise. Now the unit itself attends to all the cares, the medications and other meals, the laundry, the cleaning, all those requirements. But it's the relative themselves who is responsible for the person going for walks and getting outside. Now, on admission, it may be said that yes, we take the person out for walks, staff will take them out for walks when they can, but the thing is, they're always too busy, there's never enough time. So there needs to be a schedule put in place so people in dementia units can get out because if relatives don't cater to that, the person's stuck and they can't get out and it's a terrible life for them not being able to get outside, especially if they've been one for walking, they love the outdoors, they're fit and active, they're independent other than having a poor memory. And you know, it's not fair on them or anybody else. Now, there was one dementia resident who I looked after. She was very fit, strong. She was early 80s, but she was really strong. She had been very into sport and she had a strong personality. Now, her son would visit. He was very supportive. But when he came to visit, which he did at least once or twice a week, he loved his mother, all of that. He'd come and visit crash in the chair because he was so exhausted, get a cup of tea and chat. Now she really wanted to go out for a walk. All week she was complaining, please, I need, well, I want to get out, I need to get out, when am I going for a walk? And when he came, he just did not consider it because he was too exhausted to go for a walk. You know, he'd bike to the unit, that was all great, physical fitness and all the rest of it for him. But when he arrived, he didn't take, he couldn't and didn't take his mother out for a walk because he was too exhausted from the week at work and the bike ride. Now, that's when we need to think through to the next step. Now, she had lovely grandchildren, two girls that used to visit sometimes at different times with the father. They would have been more than happy to take the grandmother out for a walk, you know. Uh, with or without him, but he didn't facilitate that and they didn't take the initiative, so she didn't get out for a walk. Poor woman, very stressful, until the daughter who lived overseas came back to Christchurch and for the whole week, she had a marvellous week out to cafes, to the park, to the beach, lots of walks. You could just see the change in her demeanour and expression so much more relaxed, so much happier, full of life. And even though she couldn't often remember where she'd been when she came back to the unit, that experience, that fresh air, that oxygen, that sunshine, that joie de vie, the company, being with the daughter, she felt it. And she was very buoyed up by that week. But unfortunately, between the six months when the daughter then came back, she didn't get any exercise. So it just needs to be looked at from the bigger framework. If you, as a power of attorney or prime carer, can't take the person for a walk, organise for someone else to do so. Grandchildren, friends, family, someone. Just so the person can get out. Like every day is best, but at least, you know, if they really want to get out and they're fit and strong, at least a couple of times a week, you know and not to be left for months on end, which is so often the case. You know, sometimes the whole year, only getting out for Christmas time. If you can believe how the dementia residents manage for a whole year inside, it's just not good. So, um, yeah, it, these, this is the main key point that needs to be considered with these people, that they need to get out, sunshine, fresh air, new experiences, because otherwise, it's very difficult. So also remembering as well to keep the person hydrated, to keep them well. Dehydration is very common in dementia units. Make sure to give them glasses of water when you're there and as much as possible water in the room, orange juice or lemonade or something if they don't like water to encourage them to drink. Hydration is also important for keeping well. So I've written about these topics, the resident's voice, 
and the residents rise. Everything's in the description below. Thank you for your support and likes and please subscribe. Thank you.